time to head to the massacre where a war party oh yeah they got wrecked maybe the war chief left something behind some clue as to where she went lots of machines all controlled by the killers they sent a stampede of them down the slope well, I mean, some of the Braves are a bit stupid to be, like, running on ahead, like, breaking rank. It's like, oh, I'm charging ahead. It's like, well, you're doing that at your own peril. Take down a corruptor. Like, you idiots. But not before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. How are these killers using these machines for their own benefit? And then getting it to use other machines to then fight for them as well? Who the hell's this? Where the hell did they come from? Brave! Let us speak! The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl told me that the War Chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the War Chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So. You were here when the war party was ambushed. I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. I'll live. I'll fare better than what you guys did. So now I need to go to Sona's last known location, which is... Devil's Fast or around that area. Yeah, Devil's Fast. That was stupid for some of the brave to just charge on ahead. Just because she was delayed in organizing people and then they decided to charge on ahead. It's a bit reckless. Because it sounds like she trains her brave soldiers like with some discipline, but it sounds like those brave didn't have any. Let's get these, like, scavenge needs materials. Okay, we'll picking up a trail because this is where they last were at, Dran and Sona. We got the tall neck and some watchers. They're not that big of a deal anyway. A metal tower and big boulder. A big rock. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. Oh, let's get to the top. <coughs> yeah, there's definitely people here. A recent kill. Freshly skinned. Sona and her braves can't be far. They must have taken a moment to rest. Couldn't have been easy going on after the ambush. So they're still alive? She stopped here. So where did she go next? 
That old bow has seen a lot of action. No one would have left it willingly. Soon has taken losses. I was wondering what that noise was. Well, it's just a long neck walking around. Making all those thunderous steps. Dressings for wounds. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Arrow shards. Braves were crafting ammunition here. Where's the tracks? Okay, there's the tracks. Well, hopefully we can get to them before anything else happens to them. Tracks. That's so blood. Looks like Sona and her braves headed for that ridge. Someone's bleeding because I'm seeing patches of blood along this this path. What's the point in that? You could have just jumped over that. How many of them are left? A dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. Oh, I was afraid. I'm about to get attacked, aren't I, by another one? Or no? You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Follow. Why do they say that? Follow. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. Oh shit, I nearly fell off then. What about the other guys? You what? Where are the other two guys? There's two other guys with you. They the just disappeared. Of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupt or demons. I know of them. I killed them at Mother's Watch. Follow. I wonder if you'll live That's not a claim, it's a fact, so shut up. Let's just get that straight. It's a fact, not a claim. Go on, keep going. Just getting my resources. Bring that up later. Where are those other two guys? She had two guys with her and then they just vanished. That was a hours ago. I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they got out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, 
Open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. Mm, you will watch and see. I can do very much. Okay. Well, if I go down there, there's nowhere to hide. Cultist sniper. Who's that? Cultist sniper. There you go. his ass. Got him. What are they doing here? I'd have to leave something else behind. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's a shock trap. What are they digging up here? Let me just get my supplies. We're apart. All right, now let's talk to Sona. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val, what are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother. What is our problem? She's like, mm -hmm, follow me. Right, don't be such a bitch. So investigate the dig site. What are they digging for then? Are they digging up machines or what? Seems like they're excavating. Investigate the dig site. I am. Maybe my focus will see something. That's actually what I'm doing. It's not seeing shit. What am I supposed to be looking at? It's 
if I was to follow the track. Oh, what's this? Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter. Safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures. Or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. A blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. Let's see what Sona has to say. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, war chief, break the taboo. Devil's grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. She's got like a stroppy attitude. I'll see you there. It's like, why are you talking like that? And blasphemy. It's like, how's it blasphemy? You're the one who wants to go, don't you? So shut up then. Talking about blasphemy. You want to go, don't you? Oh, come on. Just grab the ledge. How far? Oh, it's all the way over there. What's this? What's this? Bandit camp. Yeah, I'll go see that. But let's also see about this metal flower as well. Go and grab that real quick. I could have probably stealthed that, but I just kind of... Maybe I should have used, um... What is it? Like, stronger arrows, like precision precision arrows. There's a metal flower. What made these flowers? And why? And it's in a triangle shape. This made the flowers into a triangle shape. It's interesting. What's that? Banuk figure. How the hell do I get in there or up there? Don't know. Gonna go this way so then I can get to that fireplace. And looks like there's some striders about and can override one of them and then get there quicker, I guess. To the main mission. I think there's some other stuff as well, like, um, yeah, here, there's like some missions to do here as well. No, careful. No, oh, you're fine. You'll live. Why is, you know, that um the killer's base or wherever it is they're at why is it taboo like she says it's taboo but she doesn't say why it is oh shit are they gonna attack or oh he's attacking that's right sit your ass down one clean smack to the face Oh, there you go. Okay, and I think I'll just fast travel. Yep, fast travel. And see what these people want. Campfire, okay. 
So there's a couple people that need something and see what they want. I was. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to. That brave. It sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you. Hmm? Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along grave trails to the east, but... I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. You said that you, um, wanted to be strong, like me. I take it you know who I am? I do. I know a lot of people didn't want you in the Proving. But if you hadn't been there, everyone would have died. Shows how much we know. The very person we needed was someone the tribe never wanted. I wish I could borrow some of your courage now. For him. You don't need to borrow what you already have. I hope you're right. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party. Wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart. So they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper. Tell him to think of his mother's smile. Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and... and howls of machines like monsters. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. If only I could calm him, help him forget all that, and go to all mother in peace. Tell me what you need again. Dream willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. That brings sleep and numbs pain. My supply is gone, but hunters keep it in stashes along grave trails, out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. I'm still learning the basics, but all the true healers are busy in Mother's heart. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him, and that I can do. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Okay, so I need to get some willow stuff to numb his pain. Um, yeah, I'll buy that. So that's a Karja sharp shot bow. Sharp shot bow, yeah, I'll sell that. Sharp shot bow, yeah, sell it. Actually, hang on, he should have, um, yeah, one of those. A free chest, I might as well buy one of these. Right, and who's the other person that needs something? Pleading for strength and understanding. You are. What's this? Supply crate. Oh, what's up with you? You're Aloy, aren't you? They say you've been made a seeker with rite of passage from the sacred land. Yes. To track the killers who attacked the Proving. I can't imagine needing all mother's protection. But my sister Nicola is like you. Fearless. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid. One of the captains of the Red Raids. He's dangerous. I'm really worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... 
He murdered our father during the Red Raids. And the coicide happened. Hidden in the cellar and forced herself to watch. He changed her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicole. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nicola to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred land, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. All right, I'll be sure to do that. All mother. Yes, all mother, the talking door that your whole religion is based on. Retards, absolute retards. The whole religion is based off a talking door. Idiots. Okay, crafting. Oh, nice. Okay, let me... Can I add some stuff? Yeah, I can. Damage. Yeah, add some damage. And... Go with tear as well. Okay, you can't... I've got a lot of... Sample... Well, not sample boxes, but a lot of treasure chests. Lots of treasure chests. Okay. Okay, and these side quests... Where's that one? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I'll do those, and then... Where was this one? Oh, that's the... Secret of the Gates and A Daughter's Vengeance. Okay, so they're both at this Nora village, I'm guessing. And then there's that other one up here with the bandit camp. What's in the notebook? Metal flower, yeah. Alright, let's do these side quests real quick. Get some extra XP and all that. That's one reason why you should do side quests. It will make it easier to do the main quests. Might need that. Right, so that's why. So I need to search Brave Trails for Dream Willow caches. Just gonna grab some other stuff along the way. Alright, where's this Dream Willow stuff at? Okay, I think that's a... Uh, what is that? Yeah, Strider. Let me sneak out. Oh. oh. Don't see me, don't see me. Oh shit, they see me. Absolutely destroyed them. Got them both with one hit. Oh, and the Watchers heard it. Or saw it. What's this on? Nothing anyway. Okay, so it must be up there. The brave trail. Yeah. Should be a cache of dream willow up there. Guess I gotta climb up these rocks. Huh. 
Yeah, you gotta get out of that. Nothing else up here, is there? Lots of grazers down there. But usually they're in big groups anyway. And they've got some watches with them sometimes. Jesus Christ, why'd you do that? Metal shards. Just a few shards. Where's the shards in there? Jesus Christ. She only got like broke cracked the ground or something, like had a little shock tremor when she landed. I'll just run past those machines. I need to get this dream willow. Well actually if they see me and drop all these logs on them. I think I'm in the hunting grounds as well. That's why all these like log traps are around. Right, there's a tree. There should be some dream willow in there. Well, hopefully there is. Climb up, yeah. No. Nope. Strange. Looks like someone swapped all the dream willow in these caches for shards. Why would they do that? There's no dream willow in these caches. Feel want to know. Why would someone take the shards for? Not the shards, like the dream willow, and then swap it for shards. Like, why? Why would they do that? Let's see. Oh! Got him. Those logs actually worked. I didn't get that many of them, but I got some of them. Just stay out of their way for now. No, more like they should stay out of my way. Okay. Come on, pick it all up. Need to get on with the side missions. Back to your business. Hey, Grazers are pretty easy to kill shooting their canisters. Alright, let's get on with the side mission. Talk to Fear and tell her that all the caches have just got shards in them and no dream willow. Because it makes me wonder why the caches had shards in them and not Dream Willow. Did someone decide to sell the Dream Willow for shards and they made like a deal? Someone would take the Dream Willow and then put shards in there for someone else to come along and then get the shards as payment for the Dream Willow they sold. It's a possibility. Sit your dumb ass down. He's watching. This is where it ends. Right, he's not watching anymore. It would be good to get one of these striders because it would obviously make it a lot easier to get around. Oh, 
But it doesn't matter, I'm here anyway. It's just up there. There must be some other caches somewhere, or like supplies, or an area where I can get my own dream willow, and not from a cache. been to those stashes. All I found was a few shards. That's strange. Who would have taken the dream, Willow? It's possible that Jun has gathered more. You could ask him, if you're willing to make the journey. You say someone named Jun might have some dream, Willow? Yes. He may be a recluse, but he helps the tribe by picking herbs and brewing medicines. The problem is that he lives west of Mother's Crown. And the machines in that region are... troublesome. What sort of machines? Scrappers. And sawtooths. It's quite dangerous. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. So that was it. So now we'll find this Jun. Which is all the way over there. Might as well do that one, talk to Neil, and then check out these vantage points as well. I'll try and get a strider. I could fast travel, but I don't want to use it too often. I want to keep it more so for like, if it's a long journey, so like more so like one side of the map from the other sort of thing, or close enough to it. Snow's got a bite out here. Don't want to use it for like short distances. I need to get myself a strido without seeing me and uh, overriding it. There's one. There's another one. Alright, now let's crouch. Gotcha. Got him, he's mine now. And then let me kill this other one. Alright, come here, you belong to me. I'm gonna get to this vantage point. Don't hurt these machines. Get him right. Wait, you want a piece? Yeah, you don't don't fuck with me and my strider. Right, where's this vantage point? See, just like a horse, you're like. Tapping its size of your legs to tell it to go. And it makes hoarse noises as well. Like, why would it do that? Alright, what's this? Okay, what's this? Shang. Leaked Zhao Lu internal correspondence spark fears of potential mass layoff slash deportations. Shanghai, July 4, 2062. The hacker collective idiot army has released nearly a terabyte of internal correspondence from Zhao Lu Lunar Resources Inc., sparking rumors that the Shanghai based Lunar Mining Company is preparing to downsize considerably. Zhao Lu's sizable robotic wall fleet and competitive salaries attracted attention from young English-speaking professionals in the mid-2050s, but the leaked files suggest that the company's increasing reliance on automation may have made much of their human workforce obsolete. The correspondence repeatedly touches on the potential cost of relocating redundant personnel, suggesting that if mass layoffs do occur, 
Former Jiaolu employees will lose the Chinese citizenship guaranteed by their employment. Well, that's bullshit. I guess that's what you get for living in China. So is that in this building? Shut your ass up. Oh, you want some? Try to flashbang me then. Mind your business. I'll pick that up and pick this up. There's so much stuff. And how the hell do I get up there? Is there a way um How the hell do I get up there? What? Ouch. What are you saying ouch for? <laughs> Nothing happened. How the hell do I climb up this building? Because that's what it seems like the vantage point is. But there's no like obvious way to climb up there. Is it on this building or is it this one? Because it's saying it's there. But I don't see any obvious ways up. What's this? Ancient debris. Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. So it must be on this building then. Unless I gotta jump to the other building from this one. You got slow motion jumps. Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's here. Another message from the ancient past. Well, let's see what it says. A pocket shit storm tour day four. It's hard to believe Metallurgic International used to be headquartered in this dreary old cigarette. Wyatt's office was on the second floor from the top. If Emmett had a policy against workplace romances, he probably wrote it. Yeah, so look at that. This is what it used to look like. And now, this is what's left of it. A lot has changed. That tall neck is so loud. It's got such thunderous steps. Yeah, tall neck, level 7, overridden. Okay, and then you got Ancient Vessel. And then I'll head there and then talk to Neil. Going down fast. No, you're not. Stop being, like, stop being dramatic. You're not. You literally just went down a tiny little pebble when I was there. And you're acting like you're falling off a cliff. Like, relax. Scrappers collecting salvage. Scrappers collecting salvage? Why would they do that? Um, right, what's this? Another one. UK vet struggle. Ten years after mustering out, UK vets struggle to make ends meet. Watford, May 1, 2062. Ten years ago, Lance Corporal Rosalind Jeffries received her Discharge paperwork at a ceremony that marks the decommissioning of all human combat forces in the Royal Air Force. Today, Jeffries and her husband live with another former military family in a small two-bedroom flat in Watford. Well, it's not ideal, says the good humoured Jeffries, who supplements her military pension as a bartender. 
but it, it's sort of an English tradition, isn't it? Resenting elected officials for breaking promises we make do. Jeffries isn't the only one having to make do. According to a study conducted by the Social Welfare, Social Welfare Research Institution, Institute, 75% of veterans polled report they are unable to cover living expenses with their pension income alone. Researcher Harold Adeyemi explains, It's a complicated situation. Ten years ago, few people anticipated just how high and how quickly the cost of living would rise. As funding of the NHS has gradually been siphoned into the coffers of corporate healthcare providers, and it's become increasingly difficult for veterans to access medical care. Those are just two factors of probably thousands contributing to straits becoming so dire for our veterans, but I suppose that's little comfort to someone who's struggling to feed their children. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Like, you think they're veterans. They shouldn't be treated like that after what they've done for their country, what they've done for their family and all that, and that's how they get treated. Like, you think you're on a pension, meaning you're not working. That must be the place there. But she has to make up for the lack of the pension by working as a bartender. And you still have to pay tax and all that? That's bullshit. That is bullshit. You should have to pay tax if you're on your pension. Because if you're on your pension, you're not working. But if you have to work because your pension isn't enough, then that's bullshit. But that's more so like another topic and I'd rather not get into it. I'd rather just focus on the game. Now it's pissing down, so there's that. Alright, so that's the bandit camp. I'll try not... I'll go around. I don't want to go straight in there. I want to talk to, um, Neil. Let's go around this way. Craft me some more arrows as well. Oh, he's lashing it down. Good for an old remedy. Oh, that is quite the bandit camp they've got. There's so much stuff to get. But every bit helps. There we go. Oh, well, that rabbit just vanished. Oh, what the hell? Oh, here it is. I'm glad you came. You're glad? Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats on them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wiggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. Rumors spread like good. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport to slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the ghost. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare act to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concerned about the state of these lands, and a missing part. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear. Alright. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing that. Safe screen. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift.
And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Alright, yeah, this guy's a bit of a weirdo. I don't know what his deal is, though. Alright, well, I'm definitely going to stop them from sounding that alarm. No, why would that get that guy's attention when he's further away? How, do the how does that make sense? This guy's closer and he doesn't even care. And yet this guy heard it and he's further away. What the f- Oh, he's with me, is he? Like, that made no sense. Like, you think this guy- Not this guy. Well, one of those guys was closer to me. I whistled to get his attention so I could stealth kill him. And he ends up getting the guy who's further away's attention. Like, how does that work? The guy who was further away, I, I got his attention, but not the guy who was closer to me? I don't see how that makes any sense. But it is what it is. Bandit scum. Okay, I see the captives and they're still like, what? Six? Seven? Eight? More bandits? So what's that? Bandit camp alarm warning system machine fuel bladder attached to short fuse. No well, if I shoot the bladder thing, will that stop them from sounding the alarm? So I'll sit down. Is there a way to disable this alarm? Yeah, destroy alarm. There you go. Okay, alarm's down. Mark him. No. There you go. They've taken those travelers captive. No, you think of nothing. Shut up. It's all right. I'm getting you out. Hold on. I'll get you out. Oh, I got you, boys. Where the hell did he come from? There's quite a few of these bandits. I'm gonna head inside and deal with the guys inside. Because there's like a few of them bunched up there. I could probably take them, but... I want to kind of get as many of them as I can before like the others here. There you go. Try and stealth this. What's all this stuff? Supply crates. Nice. Okay. 
headshot. That's right, nick all that shit. What's in this one? Oh, okay. Move. Alright, let's deal with the rest of them. First bandit camp cleared. Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm honored. I all mother be praised. Are you all right? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us, chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them. But I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast. Not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh. I'd hoped you'd say so. You... You're an inspiration to us. Thank you. I couldn't give a toss about the Matriarch's laws. They're stupid. What have a bunch of old hags in, like, costume, like, robes got to do with anything or have any say on what anyone does? They're literally just a bunch of old hags in dressing gowns. Like, who are they to tell anyone what to do? Fuck them. Like, Tears is alright, and that other one, I can't remember, but that other bitch, she's a right cow, like, fuck that bitch. Modification box. Um, what weapons do you have? 650. And also, where's that Neil guy? I'll oh, talk to Neil, okay. I'll do that in a second. Let me just check all the bandits and stuff, make sure they're all dead. Yeah, so now this is being used by outcasts and not bandits. I like how that bandit guy still sat there dead. You two just chilling? That's funny. That is a nice sun 